Hello everyone. Uh, we have a new digital LCD microscope that was sponsored uh, to be reviewed and this is the unboxing video for it. It just came in. Uh, these are available on Amazon. You can pick them up. Nice looking little plain kind of brown box. Let's take a look at the specifications real quick here. It's a seven inch high definition monitor. It says up to a 1200X zoom. 4 megapixel sensor, photo resolution goes all the way up to 5, 5, 5376 to 3024, very nice. Video resolutions, 10, uh, 1920 by 1080, so nice standard widescreen. Supports Windows 7 through Windows 10, probably 11 as well, I'm sure. Mac OS 10.5 and above, and it has a 200 milliamp rechargeable battery built in so we're going to unbox this see what all is included with it well, let's go ahead and pop this open here looks like the first thing we got is a nice little user's manual version 2.0 looks like it's all in english i wonder how much of it's going to be necessary to uh to look at before we can do anything usually these are pretty straightforward some nice packing material, a cleaning cloth. Looks like we've got a couple of different things here. We've got some LED lights on little little goosenecks. That's kind of nice. That looks like I'm not sure what that is. That's a big like a big weight of some sort. Let's see what's in here. Oh, AC adapter with a little. Uh, it's probably five volt. What's the wattage on it? Let's see. Can we see the wattage on it? It says it's a half amp, so it's one, one watt charger. Here's a nice big screen with the microscope attached. This is very similar to the last one that I reviewed. Nice big screen. Nice big screen. That's a big screen. And it looks like a better microscope on it, though. Oh, and it's also got an a tilt feature to it too so that's kind of nice look at that all right we'll set that to one side for right now comes with a charging cable to go with a little charging brick we got a remote control double click menus hmm. it's video microscope it's got a remote control with it that's nice we got a USB-C charger so we got two different charging cables with it, both USB-C, so I don't know why I included two cables, but maybe one of them is to hook up video or something like that. Two cables. Here's a third cable. What's this one? Oh, there's your video cable. Here's your video cable. There's your actual video cable. So it's got two charging cables with it? That's interesting. Here's a something. I don't know what that's going to be. Some sort of uh, maybe a light collector or something. I don't know. What else we got? Here's the stand to hold the microscope. Let's go ahead and take that out of its wrapper. And we'll go ahead and set this guy up. We'll not only unbox it, but we'll set it up. Oh, look at that. It's got a nice, nice uh, extruded aluminum uh, riser. Nice. Looks like uh, not what I would call super heavy duty, but at the same time, heavy duty enough. All right, and then the last little bit is the stand, which looks nice and nice and heavy. Let's get this out of the way. A little bit here, so there's there's screws back here on the back that need to to be adjusted to lock that in, but then this will rise up and down. And then you've got a couple of lights that come around and do their thing. Very nice. Now let's take a look at the manual real quick. I'm going to push this back just a smidge. We're going to take a look at the manual and find out what this metal piece is because I haven't figured that out yet. Interestingly enough, it doesn't show it in the packing list. I don't see that collar in here unless it's on the next page. So what do you think that thing is? Oh, you know what? Maybe it's handheld or maybe it's an extension. Oh, it's an extension. 
it's an extender so you could get up even higher that's what that looks like that probably is what that is it's an extension interesting this uh I'm noticing also that this is adjustable it's got a, a bolt on this side here that you could loosen up and tilt this so if it wasn't quite square or you wanted to do something different with it you could let's continue on here let's see installation make sure that that is this way and da -da -da -da. rotate the black ring da -da -da -da. We'll lock that in place yep that's what i did hey imagine how easy that is to put together i didn't even really need the manual now it says something about inserting the sd card the sd card shows that it goes back here turn on the microscope with the power there adjust the distance just the micro take a picture and haven't figured out how the lights turn on yet extra fill light aluminum base so i'm going to read the manual because i know that that uh is going to bore you guys but that is a nice looking let me see if we can come back up here just a smidge. Actually, you know, if you're just coming from the side here. That is a nice looking microscope. Here's all your ports on the back. Oh, it's already got a card in it. It came with a card. It's got HDMI out, so you can go straight out to your TV. Output. Nice. So, uh... In a few minutes here, we'll show a video of it all hooked up and uh, powered up, and I'll, I'll figure out how to turn these on. We'll show you about that. All right, I've gone through the manual a little bit. Let's uh, see how easy this is to use. Hold that on so that it turns on. OPQPQ, more than just a microscope. Now, this is their 7-inch version, and... Uh, this is a nice little unit. Let's take a look at a let's take a look at a very very tarnished uh, silver dollar here. I think they call this a Morgan, 1896. All right. So first thing we want to do is want to try to focus on this guy. Let's see if we can get that to focus in. Oh yeah. Wow. Look at the detail. I understand if I want to zoom in, I hit this button here. That's 1.4 magn magnification. So we really come in here quite a ways. That looks kind of grainy there, but that looks pretty good. And I have this on a piece of paper so that I can very easily slide it around without touching the coin too much. You can see that we got some real good detail here. Now, I understand that the nice thing about the way this thing is set up is that <clears throat> this riser here allows you to get really high up and then lock it lock it in position. Can it lock in position? It doesn't lock in position. Okay, that's fine. Once it's really high up, though, you get a little more, a bigger depth of field, so you get a, get a little bit wider view. You get a really good focus there. I got it really pretty tight here. Let's see now. This is full brightness. That's full brightness. Let's give it a little bit different lighting on there. Get really focused on it. A little spotlight action. There we go. And I can slide it around. Let's see how good that Liberty looks. I'll come back here so you guys can see that picture a little better. So yeah, I'm real happy with the way this looks. Wow, and so easy to use. Like I say, my initial impression, unboxing and initial impression, uh, really quite impressive to be able to, uh, to see it such minute detail. Let's check out some other stuff here. Got a, some nice pieces of rock. Let's see if we can get some focus on this here. And I don't know how well that's going to look. Got some pretty textured rock, and you can see how well it was polished or not, as the case may be. Let's see, I'm going to follow this little pattern of 
dots here. It's kind of cute, kind of neat. Here's an old dusty piece of amethyst that's been kicking around in my closet for a minute. Let's see if we can get some focus on that. Come up here. Now, like I say, one of the other interesting things here, we'll go ahead and turn it off for a second, save the battery, turn it off. It all turns off all at once. These are all tied together. So I'm using, they say to actually hook this up the other way, reverse this cable and go USB to USB this way, the small one to the, to the regular. I've actually hooked it up this way and it seems to be working fine. So maybe that doesn't matter which way you hook it to the base. Um, I don't know, they say there's a recommended way. There may be a reason for that. So you should probably follow the instructions. <clears throat> like I say, I threw this thing together pretty quickly and uh, didn't really look at the instructions on it. So far, really impressed. And I was right, this is a riser. It didn't wasn't included in the parts. Uh, it wasn't included in the parts list, but it was included in the uh, manual. So they did mention it in the manual. So we're going to go ahead and undo this. And I'm not sure what the riser's for other than to get a bigger view or to bring in more of the, uh, the coin or whatever it is you're looking at. So the other thing that's nice about this is this is fully adjustable. You can tilt this if you want. Uh, to an offset for this, I suppose. I'm, I'm really not sure what the purpose of it being offset like that or being able to twist like that is, but it is nice to have uh, as many adjustments as you can get on something sometimes, you know? So I usually go till I'm tight, back it up one turn, and then come down with the collar, line it up nice and tight. Bing, bang, boom. Now we'll drop the microscope back in here. And we'll power this bad boy on again. More than a microscope. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Oh, look, even from way up here, you can focus on it. Definitely getting more field of view because you're further away, but still have that really good, crisp micro view. Can we zoom in? That's 9.4. Oh, yeah, let's back out. Let's back out to... Uh, 1.0 can you go smaller okay that's all the way out oh look at that i mean i can see the whole crystal now so now we can just come in and focus i wouldn't go much higher than that if you're really trying to do some decent detail digital zoom kind of blows let's go ahead and uh, throw on one of these mercury dimes here this one's pretty beat up i'm a good focus on it See all the little minute details. Let's come on down. Ooh, that's a weird vibratory sensation. So we kind of come on down and get as close as you want. And then focus. And then you can slide it around on your piece of paper. Makes it a little easier to maneuver it without having to reach in and actually touch it. That's nice. We can come in even further here. Come all the way down to the bottom of the slide. And now you got some really close up detail. And really check those letters. You know how important that is. Check for the double stampings. And get all those fine details that you really are looking for. Let's see, this is the other thing that's nice about this is I can position this on here and then slide it around any way I need to. Well, this one here is in pretty decent shape. Normally they, on a dime like this, they like those bands to be in shape there. So again, uh, the quality of the microscope, the size of the screen, the clarity and ease of use, as you can see, pretty darn easy. Uh, crank up the light. Slow down the light, bring it down, bring it down, bring these side lights up. Side lights are all adjustable. So that's kind of neat. I don't know if you saw that, but the side lights have a little slidey deal back here. Let's see if I can show that with my finger here. 
and uh, as you slide your finger along the little bar here they get brighter and lighter and brighter turn them all the way off coming all the way down to the bottom or you can also tap them and tap it to get it where you want it you get the light just as bright as you want same with this one up on up on the front here you just tap it where you want it so you want full brightness you want low brightness full brightness focus your lights where you want them get your coin in, in view And then the remote control, you know, this really seems to me that this was designed by people who actually use microscopes because one of the problems that I had with the last one is whenever you touch the buttons, of course, everything wiggles and jiggles and stuff. So the remote control alleviates that. You work through your menu system with a very simple remote and, uh, and that goes uh, zip zap and does its thing. Very, very easy uh, to use, simple menu system just it's basically a reproduction of what you got right here except when you click it it brings up the menu so it's it's really nice it makes it really easy to do your recordings and do your snapshots and that sort of thing it's got a built-in recording thing you can output to tv you can output to your computer uh, i'm just really impressed with how well this thing works let's see i wanted to look at one more thing i haven't done yet let me uh, grab a circuit board real quick i'll be right back a circuit board because this is also, you know, sometimes people are doing uh, micro soldering and they need to be able to get a good view of uh, what it is they're working on. And now you can get a really tight view of your circuit board. This is really great for any techie type person who's uh, trying to get some micro work done. Let's see, I was looking to see if I could see some numbers on the edge here. I don't really spot oh there's a couple of little numbers on there 360s whatever those are a lot of times those little surface resistors have uh, numbers on them too but these do not so isn't that neat and like I say if you're doing micro circuit uh, work then this can uh, this can be kind of handy uh, and then it's also just fun to explore the world and the details of uh, various and sundry things. This is a patch that I've had for a number of years. Uh, look at all the embroidery, stitchery that's on it. It's kind of neat. And the cat hairs that's stuck to it. Heck yeah, man. See how they really did it. Embroidery is kind of neat. Bass. And the, like I say, the ability to record video natively in here is kind of nice. Uh, kind of nice. I mean, shoot. I'll save you a bunch of wear and tear on your camera. And uh, pretty flexible, too. I really like the travel on this arm and the fact that it's got an extender so that you can... Uh, so that you can really... Uh, Get where you need to be if something's really tall you could put it under the microscope and still focus on it or if you just want a bigger picture of what you're looking at I think it's neat that it does such a long focus on things you know it's just amazing so we all enjoyed the little video uh, if you've got any questions, there are links below uh, where you can find us on, you, on Amazon. So be sure to check out the description. Hit that like button. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. Peace out. We'll see you all soon.